and welcome to Ganesh Institute channel. So today we are going to discuss the next part of partial differential equation. So we are going to solve homogeneous partial differential equation. So let me tell you how we can solve it. Let's say you are given with, you can check out homogeneous differential equations video as well of mine and you'll be able to correlate these two videos and you'll be able to get a better understanding in that way. So let's say you are given with uh, with any equation of order n. It may be pas double partial differentiation or triple partial differentiation. It is in the form of this. So what you can do, you need to take consider if you are differentiating with respect to x, this will be your d. And if you are differentiating with respect to y, this will be your d dash. Okay. You need to form two things. Firstly, simplified form. And secondly, auxiliary equation. Okay. Solve auxiliary equation, find the roots. There will be two chances whether you will get real or and equal roots or real and distinct roots. If roots are real and distinct, then your solution, your complete solution will be f1 y plus m1x plus f2 y plus m2x. Okay. Or you can simply write it as f f1 because that is the same function or f2. Both are right. But for real and equal, you need to consider f2x y plus m1x. Okay. These two things you need to remember. I am talking about those homogeneous equations which has zero in right hand side. Because you know, whenever we solve homogeneous equation, we have two things. Complete solution and particular integrals. So for equals to zero type of equations, you need to only find complete solution. Complementary factor. Complementary factor will result into complete solution. Both are same for those type of equation whose uh, right hand side is zero. But if you are given with something like a raised to power x, trigonometric function, power function, then you need to find out particular integral, add complementary factor and particular integral, then you will get complete solution that, okay? So I am talking about at the moment, those equations whose value on right hand side is zero, correct? Let us solve this. You know that R is what partial differentiation, double partial differentiation of function with respect to x. S is double partial differentiation with respect to both x and y. And T is double partial differentiation with respect to y. Right? So, this will be in the form of 4, 12, 9. Right? Now, you can write it as d. Right? 4d square. 12d d dash because with respect to x it will be d but with respect to y it will be d dash plus 9 and that will be in the form of function. This is with respect to y so d dash square right. This is your simplified form. Okay. Now auxiliary equation will be for auxiliary equation you need to consider another variable which will be m and your d will represent m and d dash will represent for d dash value of m will be 1. Okay. So it is 4m square 12m plus 9 equals 0. This is your auxiliary equation. Okay. Now solve this and find out the value of m. Check it out whether roots are real or distinct. So how you can solve it? You know simply uh, splitting the term method. 9 times 4 is 36. You can split it as 6m, 6m. Take 2m common, m plus 3. Take 3 common, 2m. Oh, sorry. 2m plus 3. So from here, if you put 2m plus 3 equals 0, m will be minus 3 by 2, and m will be minus 3 by 2. 
Because roots are equal, so the formula is M1, M1. So, your complete solution, your complementary factor and complete solution will be the same because you are having equation of the form E equals to 0. F1, Y plus M1X because X is uh, M is in minus, so minus 3 by 2X plus F2, Y minus 3 by 2X. This is your answer. Okay, and if it will be, uh, because it is equal, so you need to put x as well. If it would be distinct, then you don't need to put x, only type two different solutions here, okay? I hope you understand. This was a simplest example. We will take it further into different steps, uh, different um, difficulty level. Now, if, for now, this is enough. You can do some more questions based on it. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. Till my next video, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.